Welcome guys. My name is Tony Maritato. I'm a licensed physical therapist and today I'm unboxing the Drive Medical Bella Vida bathtub lift chair. Now this is not a paid promotion. Drive Medical did not send me this for free. I actually purchased this out of my own pocket. I purchased this specifically for a patient, a client of mine who's been having a hard time getting in and out of the bathtub. But I have a secret purpose in mind that I want to test this device for. And if you watch to the end, I'll show you what I'm thinking about using it for. But this arrived today. I purchased it through Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and open it for the first time. I've never used one of these devices. So of course, as always, when you're unboxing, you want to be careful that if there is any kind of cushioning close to the top that I'm not cutting through the cushion. So I just kind of raise the top of the box, bring it open. Now it was pretty light to bring in. I don't have the exact weight on it, but of course it's a box within a box. So let's take a look. It's got an Amazon inspection warehouse sticker on it. There is a little bit of damage to the side of the box here, but I think the contents are still gonna be intact. All right, so let's see how we can open this up carefully. I'm gonna start at this end. And now I'm not using the blade. Forgive the audio. So first thing we have is the instructions, which is pretty nice. Large color photos, large print, multiple languages. I'll set that on the side. We've got a user's manual. And let's see what parts we have. So this is the cover. This is the flexible cover for the seat. I'm gonna set that on the side. We've got the hand control um, for raising, lowering the seat. I'm not quite sure what else this will do, but it's color coded. It's a little bit of a smaller size button. There are some models out there with larger buttons. The controller itself is probably three pounds, if I'm guessing, just by the feel. We've got the little suction cups that go underneath the seat to adhere to the bottom of the bathtub. We've got the electric AC uh, charger for the remote control and the lift device itself. So this is the back of the seat. Again, if I'm kind of just guessing on what the weight is and I can look up the specifications, this is probably about an eight to 10 pound um, piece of the device right here. And then we have the actual bottom of the seat right here. So let me set this on the side. And let's see what we could do about putting this all together. I'm gonna to use the instructions. Again, I've never, never assembled a device like this before. So let's see what we've got. Remove from the carton, check. Uh, we're looking for this area that has a little red tab in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna snap this piece of the backrest, it looks like it might end up going in there. We've got these two little sections right here that are gonna go into these areas. That was easy. Okay, I'm reading. Oh, 
Okay, so I just double check. Everything is in place. Nothing has been difficult so far. It just slips into position. Now what we're gonna have to do is take the charging device You can see here, here's the AC adapter. This is gonna plug into here. So recharge the battery after application. The green button, the green button is the power on. The red button is the emergency stop. The blue button is down. The yellow button is up and there's gonna be a control light. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna plug this into an AC outlet. We're gonna allow this to charge. Once this is charged, we're gonna unplug it from the charger and behind the device. So on the back of the back of the seat, this is where the hand control is going to plug in. Okay. First thing we need to do is get this charged. So bear with me guys. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to do a little bit of reading to see how long we have to keep it plugged in for a full charge. And then we'll test out using the device. <laughs> 